Now we have eight nuts also. So we can we can open the frame. Just checking the camera quickly. Yep. Earlier I had some problem with the camera, so I'm a little bit suspicious about how the camera works. All right. Now we have the eight corner uh, screws on their places. And let's take text. The aluminum arms. These are the longer one arms, and, and uh, these are the shorter one. You can see the difference. Uh, Twenty-one point five mm, uh, centimeters long, and these the long ones are twenty-eight centimeters long. Uh, with the twenty-eight centimeters long arms, we can create a quad, which is uh, overall twenty-four inches from corner to corner. Also, when you look the aluminum arms you can see that there are two big one holes this one hole which is more further from the end of the tube has to be always up because that is the hole where the cables are coming out and by the way these holes are make round so they don't cut at least so easily your wire motor wires this one always have to be on the side screw holes up this one on side so let's place it inside the frame like this way that way now we can put the metal screw 20 millimeter m3 metal screw do it like that go there we go reason why i wanted to place the corner uh, screws first is that now it's much more easier because the arm is not moving anywhere then we can screw that one in, like that. Take the next one. Again, look that this one is up. And it's okay. Place the screw. There we go. Like that. Second. And also, Remember and uh, notice the orientation of the metal screw and metal ball. You want to have the screw pointing downwards. You will find out later why. You will find out when we're going to mount the uh, battery mount. Then you see. Okay. Third one. Screw over there. Like that. And then the fourth one. Now. There we go. Now we can make this one a little bit more tight. I haven't been placing these screws tight because this is just uh, showing the example how, how to build it. Alright, after that your frame should look like this. You have uh, four small ones, uh, spacers on the middle, four longer ones on the outside. You have uh, eight uh, nylon screws on, on the edge of the, and on the corner, holding, holding the arms. And you have four metal screws on the middle. Bottom looks like this. This is the bottom. The reason why I want to have the screws pointed on, on the uh, bottom direction is that when you look your battery mount box, the uh, battery mount back, back number four, there are four spacers, nylon spacers, female, female spacers. And that's the way how we mount the battery mount on the beta frame. I have them as extra in here, so I will take it. Now, this all stuff is coming from the back number four. So, let's take those small 10 millimeter spacers and you can screw them like that on top of the metal bolts there we go there we go after that you can mount your battery mount And again, no need to use 
any force to mount them. Just gently screw them in. Like that. Now we have the battery mount. You can also put this one if you want. It goes like that way. It is quite easy to put it afterwards also. Ah, there we go. There we go. But because I'm still building on the other side, I will take it out. All right, let's say otherwise. Uh, now we can continue mounting the carrier plates. Uh, corner, corner, the second level of, of uh, 8 millimeter, uh, 25 millimeter screw. There we go, and then the uh, second level and you can lock it down with the nuts. I just put them a little bit inside to show how to build it. Here we are. This is how the whole frame should look like when it's almost done. And uh, when you are done, done with, uh, with the protective dome, it will be mounted like in here and uh, yeah that way and the fins they will hold in here in this way like that this is the old one so uh, the real one in beta frame the screws are actually two screw down one up so it's upside down this is the old one proto what I have like that okay we can take it out. This is the plate where you should mount your Arco Pilot Mega and, and receiver and stuff like that. But now we can take out and the power uh, power distribution board. It goes in here. Either that way, if you want to have them upside, the, the folios up, you can, sure. But also you can mount it folio down. Then the wires coming nicely up, that uh, the uh, connection wires to APM and, and uh, ASC is coming in here. Later on I will be showing how to build the whole power distribution. Okay, that's it. Have fun building your frames. See ya.